Go yeah. ahead. Um, is um, well, so one easy thing is that they're making souvenirs because okay. that's something they can sell to people with more or higher income. And, okay. Um, but that's sort of they figured it out themselves that that would be an interesting thing because if they want to make a plastic disposable cup, no way they can make it cheaper than the industry. But it's things like souvenirs where people have more budget available to make it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was an interesting application to. Yeah. But I think in general there needs to be more development in that area. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any thoughts about how we can collaborate? Oh, open source ecology and precious plastic, or what are your thoughts, Any? I don't know, to be honest, but I do think you're better in building machines, as in, I know, the technical part behind it. I think that's definitely something we could learn a lot from, mm-hmm. but I don't know how that would end up looking or seeing, but that's, I don't know. Do you have any subject matter experts, like, for example, if we wanted to design the next iteration of the plastic extruder for 3D printer filament, that's something that's quite interesting to the developing world for recycling here. I think a lot of people could get into that. Do we have any subject matter experts that can help us on that? Maybe we can collaborate and maybe find a team to develop a really solid version of that. Because the plastic extruder is, the bioplastic extruder is actually one of the Global Village Construction Set technologies. Well, so we, yeah. we have like this online community with a lot of people that are uh, building machines. Um, there are definitely like a few people in there who built extrusion and learned a lot and made some tweaks and hacks from that. So I think there's some knowledge in there. Mm-hmm. And for the rest, I think it's like from us that we did in our workspace, the things we developed and learned. Mm-hmm. So we already definitely have a ton of knowledge in our head mm-hmm. um, to help out with that. Yeah. And things like, you know, how do you get the exact dimension of a 3D printing filament? Do we know how to do that? Yeah. So it's not necessary. So you can control the output by changing the nozzle of the extrusion machine. So where the plastic comes out, but this defines more the shape than the thickness, but it's more the spool that winds it up. The quicker you wind it up, the thinner the wire gets because it pulls out and the slower it goes, the thicker the wire gets. So that's, so this, this winding up machine. That sort of defines the thickness. Is that winding machine developed already? Or that's... Yeah, so we, that's the thing we have in beta. Mm-hmm. Um, so we in made beta. it like with a few Adrenos and stuff like that. But it works, but it's still a little bit too... We call it beta because it's still a little bit too complex to rebuild. Um, so, But we first wanted to test it properly before we would make like a video out of it and, mm-hmm. and, and blueprints. Well, we already have the blueprints, but not the good ones. Okay. And wha- how about the actual measurement of the thickness? Is that documented? Or do you guys know how to do that? Like how, what are the techniques for doing the precise measurement? So, you uh, know, I mean, does this winding machine actually have the feedback for thickness of the... No, so you can build it in and we try to do that, that you measure with this little laser that, that mm-hmm. sort of, um, if it's too thick, it gives feedback and it starts um, turning quicker. So it gets thinner and stuff like that. But we didn't really, it got too sophisticated, I guess, for, for us, for our project. And also was a little bit buggy. So right now, what really worked for us is once you have the extruder running, it just goes. You can just leave it on for a couple of hours and it just, it's very consistent. Uh huh. And I think one of the other things, hello. Hi. One of the other things um, uh, is once you have a consistent extruder, you just need to figure out your speed for this winding machine once and then you can just leave it running, both of them. Uh huh. So you don't really need feedback constantly. And um, which actually, I didn't know that it would work like that, but it worked quite well. So it's, you just leave it running and then... It's working enough to get 3D printing grade filament right now for you? Yeah, so we, we did it and we had the spools. But like I said, we made it from all different types of plastic, polypropylene, polyethylene, all this stuff. Uh huh. But we cannot print with it yet. But if we measure the wire, it's consistent enough to, you know, 